Hey yo yo. Yo, check it. This my special attack. A hundred swords, a hundred episodes, and here's to a hundred more. Who got next? Place your change on the cabinet. Air combo, university graduates juggle my enemies before tagging in the masters hero. Pros in action, toe tagging champions getting active. The message will always get near you. Return to the dream team, Spider Man and Strider hear you. When the mask is on, I can't promise I clap to keep his glasses on. The handshake was potent. The inner glow shown as a mega optic blast trailing behind the Shinku Adoken. How you gonna dodge both of them? Blast you down to the last atom. Best regards from the pro time can. You couldn't fathom If you were raised on gaming and put a controller up I'm old enough to study the meta before I bless you We understood space in the dash clean Now we need to adjust and warm poster right next to the pro athletes Final justice like a primary lotus from out the sky Stars and stripes reminding you racism is still alive Bring a plasma sword to a gunfight Hey Ato, bring a hurricane kick Tatsumaki Sentaku One time for all my otakus who played the console till their eyes closing Probably forgot to study for their finals Welcome to the sword cast, sword cast My wordplay my swerve play when blades clash oh. Welcome to the sword cast, sword cast My word play, my swerve play when blades clash oh. Welcome to the sword cast, sword cast My word play, my swerve play when blades clash thing over. It's loud, sounds as loud as hell Sounds like that mm -hmm. Just in the middle of the night <laughs> yep. And then he freaks out And starts running And knocking over Even more stuff <laughs> Alright That's Cats for you. You recording? Yep Whoa Boom What up We're back yeah. Episode 141 I believe Not sure If Maybe. you say so Could be Something like that Episode 100 In Sadiq Bay. <laughs> um yeah, man, we're back. Had a little, had a little break. I went on a little vacation. Yeah, tell us about your vacation. Man, took the kids to Disney, man, for the first time Yo. ever. Um, man, a lot of, a lot of planning. This, this trip was like, I'm not exaggerating, bro. This was like three years in the making, and then still, almost couldn't do it. Uh, shout out to my mom. She came through, helped with the travel because i was gonna drive mm. and she kind of helped you know with some travel so we ended up flying down there but uh yeah man went to disney for the first time like kept it as a surprise the kids i uh we i told you when we kind of revealed that we were going my son jay just he started crying like he just, <laughs> like, he just like broke down started crying and he was so happy um, but it was it was amazing man most expensive thing ever um but Bro. uh worth it though i mean you know the kids had the time of their lives I, I think i think some people sometimes when they go when they take their kids to disney i feel like they go too early like this is it, it's so expensive that it, it's it's make like it count you have to make it count like it's, it's i didn't go for the first time till i was like 13 yeah like it's it's you know my only son's, time by the way right and my son's 12 so you know it's it's a it's 100 percent like life-changing core memory so you can't do it when they're like two and i see people do that all the time you know and it's you know if you can afford it whatever that's right. that's what's up but rich <laughs> okay, we need a mario <laughs> coin you know what I'm <laughs> um, but if you know if you can afford it you know that's what's up but i i just think coins, <laughs> coins. <laughs> Bro, okay, hold on. Ass, Lord, we cut. We actually it. cut that out of an episode because I was. I'm gonna tell y'all the reason why. I was embarrassed. I was a little bit worried about being not inclusive for right. people with lisps. Uh, but I had a friend who had a lisp, and he played with Mario in Smash. In Smash, yeah. And he would hit that uppercut and be like, <laughs> "Coin." <laughs> <laughs> my bad, bro. I, shout out to all my all my disability folks, folks with lisps. Hey, we. Man. Sorecast lore. Yeah. yeah, I love it. It was funny. I, I I did cut it out though, even though I just said it and made it public this time. But <laughs> it's funny. oh man, Sorecast lore. I love it. Yep. Um, but yeah, man. So um, you know, we we so we went. We did uh Disney Magic Kingdom, which you know, like some it's 
it's hard to describe. It really is like it's just a, it's a this is like just the kids being there, man, and, and just even when you first get there and you just walk down Main Street, it, it really feels like you're in a that Disney movie. You know what I'm saying? My yeah. kids were. They loved it, man. Totally worth it. Um, so give me your give me your top three favorite moments or top three favorite things that happened. So my number one was, is just literally just like so we stayed. So we went. We ended up being at Magic Kingdom on a Wednesday. So Disney Magic Kingdom don't close till eleven. Mm. So like we stayed until it. We went there at eight in the morning. Stayed until it closed. Nice. And um, it's just you know just at night with the castle on and the castle's oh, yeah. got Christmas colors and it changes. And do they do the fireworks like every night? They do. They do fireworks. Man, there's so much. They do fireworks parades. We did, but I think my number one. Well, I'll start at three. So number three, I'm gonna go with my son getting to build the lightsaber. Let's go. Um, I literally had set I set the money aside like months ago to so he could do this and then you know when when we you know when we booked everything like I was kind of mad because I found out that that particular mm-hmm. thing is called Sevy's workshop is like incredibly booked up and you have to book it months in advance yeah. and I was mad because you know they don't say that when you you know when you buy your tickets and everything for Hollywood Studios so I you know I called and I'm like yo man like it's our First time going, like, it's probably the only time we can go, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm like, like I really want to make sure my son, you know, can do this. And they're like, well, I hope you guys can get in. If you get there, as soon as the park opens, you know, then then you'll be able to, you know, then they might be able to squeeze you guys in. And I was like, okay. So, when, so this was Thursday. Thursday we woke up super early. Uh, there's, like, a shuttle from the resort we were staying at to – you know, to all the parks, but I got an Uber because I wanted to make sure we got there before the park opened. So we got there like eight o'clock. As soon as they open the doors, I get the map and me and Jayla's just, we just sprint Sprinted. all the way to, so, so, and it was, it go? <laughs> and, it was and it was funny because we're like running past all this cool stuff. We're like, oh, look at the nope. <laughs> like, we'll come, we'll come back. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Put the blinders so, on. Bro, like, so yeah, we ran nope. all the way to switch, bro, from the, where Hollywood Studios Park entrance is at to Sevy's Workshop. That's a, it's a nice. Like a, like a mile, you think? Maybe a little less, but it's. It's far. <laughs> it's definitely far. I mean, I run a, I try to run a mile every day, and that shit ain't close. Man. Yeah, like, like it, it, I would say maybe a little less than a mile. It's far. Literally ran all the way down there, and we get down there, and then I was, I was so mad because we get down there, and it's still like three people in front of us, bro. Damn. And you know why? And it's because. With people who have like season passes who like live there, they get to go to the park thirty minutes earlier mm-hmm. than everybody else. So we get down there. It's like three people. Even if, but you, if you stay on, if you if you stay on a resort, you get to go early too, right? Or no? If you're, I think if you're on our resort was like five minutes away. It wasn't like on the so like. But if you're on like the campus, I think so. Yeah. Okay. So we get there. I stand in line. I talked to the I talked to the lady and she's like, Oh yeah, okay, so if you go over there, like they'll see if they can get you in. So then I go talk to this lady. She uh I sign up on this thing and she's like, Okay, he's on the waiting list. Um, if we can get him in, we'll send you a text and then you'll have forty minutes to get here. Ooh. Or and then if you don't get here, then somebody else gets your spot. And I'm like, Okay. So then Jay's like all he's all bummed out and he's like all crossing his fingers. He's all and I'm like, Man, I'm like, look. Don't let it ruin your day. Like, we're going to have fun anyway, regardless. So then, you know, once I said that, he kind of forgot about it. We went all the way back to the beginning <laughs> of the of the park. Come in. You know, now we start, you know, doing stuff, riding some rides, getting some food and everything. And then uh, we were in line for something, and then I got that text. And I was like, yeah. And then he just started. He started freaking out. We ran down there. Did, I'm not you, did you leave it. the Did you leave the line? Yeah. Oh yeah. Of course. Like, yeah. Fuck this. Whatever so this is. Like, <laughs> so I'm not gonna spoil it for you because I know you're gonna do it when you go. But yes, um, sir. bro, I I would just say I'm gonna say it's better than anything you're expecting. Like I I didn't do say it. Less, bro. I didn't do it because it cost two million dollars to do one. <laughs> <laughs> but he, uh, you know, I did it for him and just just I got to be in there with him. It's so cool, man. Yeah. Like they they really it's dope. And that's fire. um so he got to do that. So that's definitely my number three. My number two favorite thing. Ooh, I gotta have to say I'm just gonna relate these first two just to my kids because it's just seeing them 
Mm-hmm. Like so, Nova dressed, and when we went to Magic Kingdom, Nova mm-hmm. dressed as Raya. That's like her, you know, her favorite Disney character from mm-hmm. Ryan the Last Dragon. And we get there, like every all the little all the ladies at the shops, and everybody's like complimenting her, and they're like, "Oh, we never see a Raya. Like, there's always, you know, Raya's such a new character. Like, we never see a Raya here." And then, like, they have parades like throughout the day. So we watched one parade. It was it was really dope. But Raya wasn't in it, so she's kind of like, you know, she's kind of sad that Raya wasn't in it. And then. Like in the middle of the day, there was another parade, and we like barely caught it. We just kind of randomly were on the street, and they're like start splitting the street up, telling people they gotta get to the side. So I'm like, oh well, we might as well stay and watch it. And then as all the characters are coming out, they all go right up to Nova, and they're like, oh my god, like just wait to the end, like Raya's gonna be here. And then like they're all telling her and, and everything. And then at the end, Raya was like the main character in that parade, so she's like on the giant float at the end, and like all the princesses and characters are like telling her to look at nova and then like oh, she looks dope. at nova and like does the little kumandra sign for the movie and then like she was i got that picture i showed you mm-hmm. she was like she was so happy so that was that's my other one then my number one is since i related those to the kids like i'm gonna have to say bro just just being in the star wars land like it's mm. crazy it's literally like it's literally like being on tatooine bro yeah. like they got like bro, so Jay was walking around with his lightsaber. They have like, they have like little play, little like shows that go on every few minutes. And like Kylo Ren and, and the stormtrooper stopped him and started questioning him because he had lightsaber. That's fire. Like, Did he, was he like an it's asshole? So dope. Like I, I love seeing those videos of Kylo Ren just yeah, being a fucking it was, savage. It was dog. crazy, bro. It was, it I'm, was awesome. I'm wondering. I'm wondering if I should bring my. Um, my uh Revan cosplay and see if that that'd be it. dope. Oh, he'll interact. I guarantee he'll interact with you. It's fire. Yeah. Um. And then dope. like, bro. And then just like real quick, uh, because I know we got to move on. But just like, <laughs> just um. So we did that. Then another thing, like like I said, we stayed at Magic Kingdom till it closed, and just like it being so late, and then it was the kids were tired. I'm sitting here holding over because she f- fell asleep, mm. and just like. They're playing. We're there at Christmas time too, so like they playing Christmas music and it's Christmas light. It was just, it was amazing. Um, but um, rides, bro. Uh, my favorite ride was Smuggler's Run. I heard that. One so, was bro, you you, and again, I'm not gonna spoil it, but you do you 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 get on the Millennium Falcon, which is crazy. So the line is super long, but like. Bro, the way that the line is set up is you're you're going through the body of the yeah, Millennium yeah, yeah. Falcon before you get to the pictures of to it. to drive through it. Then when you get on it, there's roles for everybody. Like there's if you're in the back, you're an engineer. If you're in the middle, you're a gunner. If you're in front, you're a pilot. You bro, you gotta you gotta be your pilot. You have to. It's the Bad. best part. <laughs> um, because I did it the first time I was a gunner. It was fun, but I was like, oh, that was dope. And then Ash and Nova were the the pilots, and like you gotta do it again. So we got in line again, and then another people were in front, and then I was like, "Have you rode this before?" And the dude's like, "Yeah, he's like our tip time." And I'm like, "Can I get in the front, me and my son, so we can be the pilots?" He's like, "Yeah." So then we were the pilots, and I was like, "Oh yeah, this is the this is the best thing ever. That's crazy." <laughs> All um, right, I'm gonna have to check that, bro. That Rise of the Resistance. Never been on anything like that in my life. It's like you're in a Star Wars movie. It's crazy, bro. bro I'm, it's I'm, I don't know how they make stuff like that because like the riot i'm not again i'm not gonna spoil it but it's yeah it's crazier than anything you're thinking <laughs> and then obviously uh space mountain at at magic kingdom that ride still that ride is still the, the i think the i went on that the first time when i was you like probably 13. did because that's been like the, the top name, ride yeah. at disney for i can't really remember it though it's that one where it's literally pitch black and there's stars it's like you're going through space and it's yeah, fast okay and, yeah I, uh, it's like you remember that that like bootleg version that they have at cedar point yes <laughs> <laughs> it's like a very like yeah fucking space, diet space mode. dog it's like kirkland brand space <laughs> <mode>. <laughs> Not to see the point. Oh man, but yeah, Space Mountain is still the king. Um, that, um, those two rides I just named from the Star Wars park. Uh, Thunder Mountain. I love Thunder Mountain. We went on Thunder Mountain at night. It was crazy. But dog, honestly, so what we did was we did Magic Kingdom on Wednesday, Hollywood Studios on Thursday. Then I was like, if we have enough money left and we cannot be completely poor when we go home, <laughs> we would surprise them with a third park on Sunday. You know what mm. I'm saying? So then we just chill at the resort friday saturday and then sunday 
we decided we we're gonna surprise in the park. We were gonna go back to Magic Kingdom, but it was all uh, it was booked up because you gotta like book your tickets. So then we went went, it went to Animal Kingdom, mm. Bruh, The Yeti ride at Animal Kingdom is so sweet. And it's like a Mount Everest roller coaster. Okay, and like the crazy and we bro we rode that ride like 10 times <laughs> i my kids because because at the end of the night when it gets dark out in animal kingdom mm-hmm. everybody goes to the um pandora the avatar park because oh, yeah. it all glows in the dark and oh, it's all light up. Yeah. so nothing else is is being dog so we were over there and my kids just wanted to keep riding their yeti roller coaster and i was like all right like my neck dog my neck's starting <laughs> to get kind of because that ride is it's, it's, it's sweet fun. but it's a lot like yeah. and i was like all right i can't ride this no more <laughs> But yeah, man, ten out of ten trip, fun. Love it, bro. Love really to hear. Dope. Shout out to fatherhood and being being uh, responsible for core memories. Hey, man, let's go. It was it was dope. So I'm I'm going uh, in January, hey. the beginning of January. I'm going uh, Hollywood Studios for like two days, and then um, Universal Studios for Harry Potter. Oh yeah, uh, man! Universal's right got a. Uh, is it? Are you going to Island of Adventure? I don't even know how that is set up. I don't, bro. I bro, it's confusing. I use the travel agent, so I'm like, I, <laughs> whatever. Here's some money. Fucking do bro, the best you I can. I was struggling trying to like learn the things that are at bro. The parks. Like, it's I, so confusing, dog. Like, bro, there's so much going on. Yeah. Like, and then it's so expensive. Dog. I'm sitting up here like, like, this is everything? This is for all the stuff? Or this is right. so, nah, that's just one. <laughs> that's the price for one park. Dog. That shit is crazy. I'm like, bro, expensive. no. <laughs> Not no. Go, you know what I'm saying? Not going to be able to do it. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, but yeah, man. Like I said, totally worth it. Amazing time. My kids had the time of their lives. I know they'll mm-hmm. never forget it. They, that was their first time riding a plane. Mm. Um, it was it was just uh, all the and like Nova, man. She she loves like the smallest thing. She never been on a plane. She never been on a bus. She never mm. been a so oh, really? so she's like freaking out when we're on the people mover at the airport. And then she's like, we had the you know when you go to Magic Kingdom, it's like on the little island, so you got to get on the ferry to go there. Mm. Like she was like loving all that stuff. Like it's just train rides are of, awesome for yeah, kids too. They, yeah, they loved all that stuff. So. All right, bro. When I I'm gonna need the Sora cast to y'all send y'all spirit bomb energy to keep the plane in the sky. I got I got crazy flight anxiety. Oh, which yeah. is weird yeah. because I've been on I've been on a plane like seventeen million times, yeah. but every time I'd be time. like, man, fuck this nah, shit, I feel dog, you, bro. I, I feel you. So I'm gonna need y'all um, niggas to reach out uh, into the universe <laughs> and keep the plane levitated with your force powers and your spirit bomb energy. I definitely feel you on that. Man. Appreciate y'all. Boom. Um, but all right, man. Uh, so yeah, amazing trip. Very, very, very awesome. Um, but let's let's move on, man. So real quick. I want to get into this. Mm-hmm. Video game awards were yeah what they were on Thursday. Yeah, right? last Thursday I think they were on Thursday. Mm-hmm. Um, so we'll just we'll just go through some of the some of the things, and then I got I want to know uh, some of your personal choices for some categories that yeah. I myself have. Yep. Okay. So as we all know, game of the year was <laughs> Elden was Elden Ring. Pass. Uh, now I want to be clear here. I love fantasy. I love fantasy games. I'm not a huge fan of the so you know we already talked about yes. the Soulsborne style. Not only I flat games. out don't like them games. Not, full stop. Oh me me neither. Period. I flat out don't like those games. Full stop. My last experience, the last one I played was Neo Two. Great character customization. Um, just. I don't like the. Ch- I can't do the cheap difficulty, man. I yeah. can't do the. I can't do the. I like because I and and this is I played Ghost of Tsushima on the hardest level possible, which is you get hit once you die. Yeah, and it was fun. You know yeah. why? Because the same rules apply to everybody. To everyone. Yo, that's the reason. Look, bro, I talked a lot of shit about Sifu. Mm-hmm. That game is actually fire, bro. Yeah, like yeah. it's it's fun and the diff. It's hard as fuck. It's hard as a motherfucker. But the difficulty is like fair. Like once you like, it is man. You know once, you, once you once you get down the mechanics of the game and like what you're, what you what what you're actually needing to do to beat these people, like right. Difficulty is it's not it's not bad. But with the Dark Souls games, you got bro, the like it, you got the health sponges and bro, they and hit everything, you once and you and fucking I die. Can't do like I can't do the whole. 
like why why can't I just why can't I dodge as many times as I need oh, to? Why the can't stamina? Why can't I roll as many times as I need to? Why can't I sprint? <clears throat> like you know, like yeah. I can't do all that stuff. And then and then their weapon is uh, two million uh, right. feet long and takes up the whole screen. And then you got to hit them twenty five times. Million and they only times, hit bro. You once. Can't Listen, I'm if I'm I'm let people. But the real reason why I didn't play Elden Ring is because there's no black hairstyles. Right. Uh. <laughs> Bro, none, <laughs> zero, none. Yeah, it's embarrassing. No, li- no lineups, no fades, no locks, no locks. Not even an afro. No you know, afro. That's the no, only. That's, that's the, the, that's only the only obligatory. Right. Uh, that's that's the, the only hairstyle white people think that black people bro. have is an afro. You got an afro in there? All right, it's for the for the brownies, get them an <laughs> afro. For the for the blacks, <laughs> there's literally no black hairstyles in Elden Ring. Can't do it. Um, hey, shout out to uh, well. Uh, shame on Final Fantasy 16, who I was very excited for. They got zero black characters at all in the entire. In the, and That's Final crazy. Fantasy usually does a pretty good yeah, job. They do with have, that. They, they've been doing that for right. A long or they time. at least have like supporting characters. They got zero black zero people black. at all. Yep. And then the and then the uh, who the director I can't remember his name like doubles down and says like yeah we wanted it to be realistic to the era <laughs> and realistic to the country. <laughs> It wasn't no black people in it ain't no black people in London right now, nigga. It wasn't no black people in London a hundred, two hundred, three hundred years ago. It's black oh, people all over geez. the entire world. The world. All over the entire universe. It's black people on Mars right now. Black people on fucking Vulcan, nigga. Tuvok is black. Oh, God damn it. God. Nigga Worf on Konos is black. They black people it. all over the universe. They hate it. Oh. Um so so okay, so we know uh, obviously Elden Ring won that. Yeah. Um this is what bothers me. Mm-hmm. I don't like that Elden Ring won Game of the Year and then also wins role playing Game of the Year. Like, I think if you win, I think if you win, especially that one, right? Like, that's yeah. the. I don't think you should. I don't think you should be able to win the other one. Yeah. Because when I and I, and I, yes, I love Pokemon. We're gonna talk about Pokemon later. You guys know how much I love Pokemon, but I just think Legends. For a Pokemon game to come out and do what Man. Legends of Arceus did, Fuck just yeah, bro. just in a way that this is a game that <clears throat> literally changed. Bro, Pokemon games have been the same for twenty years. Like, yes. This is a game that came out and changed the entire way, the whole playstyle. It wasn't like any other Pokemon game. Open World it was great. It was and it was awesome the way that they did it. I just feel like as much as that game moved the moved the needle, the needle yeah. for Pokemon. That game should have been role playing game of the year. I'm with you. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, uh, you know, narrative, God of War, Ragnarok. Um, I didn't play that. Not a big was, God of War guy. It was good. I, I mean, I, I'm historically not a God of War fan either, but the last two games have been legitimately really good. Okay. Um, <laughs> action adventure game was God of War. I was wanting Horizon Forbidden West to win that one. In terms of the. I, I listen. I know this is gonna lot, make a lot of people mad. Y'all know how much I stand for Horizons, Horizon Forbidden West. I legitimately, like, no, objectively thought Horizon was better as a story and as a gameplay. Like, I mean, for me, for my taste, like it was science uh, fiction. I, it was sweaty. I'm it was you. sort of. I agree. You know what I mean? And the gameplay, bro, it ain't nothing like fighting a fucking fifty foot tall Mecha Godzilla. And I got a bow and arrow, <laughs> and I'm about to win. And I will win. I will win. Armed with a bow and arrow, I will beat Mecha Godzilla. Like, there's nothing like that. Facts. Um, I did love that Chris Judge got the performance. Black, oh, bro, ass off. He Kratos. was amazing. So good. Hey, another hot take about God of War. And again, I'm not hating. I I used to be a God of War hater. I like the franchise. I will continue to play the games moving forward. The last two games were fantastic. Absolutely loved them. But the voice acting in Ragnarok was fucking terrible, dog. <laughs> The guy who played Loki, or sorry, the guy Thor. who played uh, Thor, ass yeah. on, bro. The guy who played Odin, bro, Staple. ass, <laughs> nigga, bolted on, bro, like, welded well, on. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so bad, dog. He was terrible. But well, Chris Judge thro- threw his ass out the fucking window, bro. Ass completely off. So good. Oh, man. Um it uh my uh John uh, one of the words that I'm always into is the independent game. It, it was this game called Stray. Mm, mm-hmm. I never played yeah, that. I played it. It was great. I thought Sifu maybe should have got that one. Oh, for sure. Sifu, Sifu was better. I think people were mad at Sifu because of the appropriation uh, yeah. allegations, which were legitimate. 
But I'm not like Stray a lot. I don't think it should have got nominated for Game of the Year, and Seafood was definitely better. Facts. Um, but yeah, man. So that was just some of the ones that I like to um, that I like to run through. Um, I know Kirby Forgotten Land got Family Game. I know that multiplayer with Splatoon three. Mm-hmm. My son loves Splatoon. I never played. I hear Splatoon um, three is fire. I, I haven't played, played it. it. Um, and then I think fighting game was multiverses, multiverses which you know i kind of i played it a minute and yeah. then i stopped have they I'm, added I'm any it. more characters I, to it? I stopped playing it okay I, you know what ruined it for me was when we remember we played smash brothers recently yes i was like, like i was like wait kind of a minute sweet. bro this shit <laughs> I, and so I was very impressed with multiverses but i think it was only because i hadn't played smash in like two years facts and no. i was like oh wait nah this yeah. shit's still way 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 sweeter uh yeah i'm i can see that and i stopped playing after that <laughs> Um, so so what's what's your what was your game of the year this year? Um I think for me it's gonna be Horizon Forbidden West. Um, that's pro- that's pretty predictable of me. I mean that's one of my favorite franchises. Um I love the first game, one of my favorite games ever. And then it's rare that a the sequel comes out and like surpasses the original in almost every way. Like graphically it's better, the gameplay is better, the story is better. Um you know, there are some things that you know. All, even the, even the like, like the armor was sweeter. Yeah, they man. they did a good job of like. It took me forever to to play that game, um, but I finally played it, and I, I just think that it remind. You know what it reminds me of, bro? Perfect example. It reminds me of Ori. It reminds me of the the transition from mm-hmm. Ori in the Blind Forest to Ori in the Will of the Wisps. Like literally every single category. Was yeah. better. Every everything. Every single category is better. Yeah. Like the the arsenal, the weapons, the the stages, the music, the mm. the bosses. Like the everything, music, bro. Was the music better. for a plain song that like him that when they were yeah. singing, bro. I stopped the game for like ten minutes and just like <laughs> listen. So so good, bro. It's... And and listen, I I know that I'm I don't criticize this game very much, and I'm not saying it it is a game that's not worthy of criticism. For some people, that that whole open world style gets stale, and mm-hmm. I get that. But but for for me, that's not a criticism because like that's just my fate. Like that presentation, I know Josh is really he really has a lot of critiques for like the the U- Ubisoft style of open mm-hmm. world game where you kind of got to collect a bunch of shit. I'm not into collectathons. But like having a big open world with a bunch of shit to do and a bunch of side quests, like and a bunch of like things to a bunch of different categories of things to try to do, like I like it, not only is that my favorite type of game, like I I kind of can't play games if it doesn't have some version of that. Mm-hmm. So for my taste personally, what see, it, it, I, it's it's not a that's not a bad thing for me. That yeah. that works. I mean, it, when you play a game like that, it just gives you purpose. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you're not, it's not so you're just run, you're not running around for you know without a purpose. You always got something to do. So. Like that was a criticism that Ghost of Tsushima got early on, and I'm like, bro, like this game is sure, like it's an open world game. Like it, it's the in the genre of open world, so there's stuff that you got to do. There's places that you got to go. Yeah. But like that's the point of this genre. Like if you don't like this genre, like because at that point you're not you even if it's open world and you don't have any any tasks or collecting like that to do you're gonna just they're trying to get you to experience the entire yeah they want you to see the they stuff want you to see everything right. so if you're not if you're not being kind of forced to go around and and where you have to go in certain areas on the map like you might not even see everything it's like nah bro we put all this time in the, right. the, come look in the building stuff. this world you need to come now, look at i think assassin's creed does a little bit of too much pointless uh collectathons like the collectathons need to have a reward right they need yeah. to be there needs to like for for um for ghosts it was like this is how you get your stamina up this is how you get mm-hmm. your your new weapons and your new armor this is how you get the new color schemes right there was that there was reasons for it same with horizon uh assassin's creed they be tripping sometimes i will admit that a lot of the times there's no point there's no value there's no reward for doing it so like why even bother right but in general like if your critique is like open world games are not for you then i get it but like if we're going to go into the open world genre like you can't it's weird to if you if you've decided that you wanted to play and enjoy an open world game it's weird to critique the things that make it an open world game mm. to me you know what i mean facts so but it's not for everyone i get it let people enjoy things. That's what I always say. It's okay. Let people enjoy stuff. Um, so my game of the year, um, 
I'm being biased. It would be Pokemon Arceus because, like I said, just all that the would things, be in my top five. Just all the things that it changed, and that was just the game that I spent the most time on for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what I'm saying? So I have to go with that. Um, and just the you know the way it changed 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 the entire uh, way that you play Pokemon games. Yep. Um, what what's a game? that you got back into this this year like a game that you know could be an old game could be a game that you haven't played in years could be a game you haven't played in a long time could be a game you played when it first came out and you stopped playing it what's a game that you like oh, revisited this year yo so i was gonna say um streets of rage 4 because i that, i kind of keep that game in rotation mm-hmm. i play it every couple of months or so but no man a game that i hadn't revisited in in like almost a decade that i actually just beat the third one yesterday is no more heroes. Um, oh, uh, Travis touchdown. Travis touchdown, bro. I finally, finally beat no more heroes three. I hadn't. I kind of forgot that it came out. To be honest, <laughs> um, and I love the first one. The second one was all right. I didn't like it as much as the first one, but the third one was dope. Uh, sneaky underrated franchise, bro. Like that game. Yeah, you. Uh, I never played them, but you. You were uh, really high on the first one. Yeah, first one is one of my favorite games ever. That was on what the the Wii. The Wii. Yeah. yeah. Um, super ridiculous, absolutely nonsensical storyline. <laughs> like it, it would make it would make um, Hideo Kojima like blush how ridiculous the story it is. is. Yeah, it's like he even he would be like, "Bro, what the fuck, y'all think?" <laughs> <laughs> this outrageous. That's what I got going on over here. Uh, but the gameplay is is dope. The super rewarding combat, nice little uh, sword lightsaber fight system. It's pretty dope. That's dope. Um, that's what's up. Uh, a game that I got back into this year, Tekken Seven. Man, mm-hmm. I went like two years without touching Tekken. And I still and, haven't played it in a and minute. And this year, um, I just randomly got back into it and was playing online a lot. Got I was winning too. Like I, remember I was talking about that not too long ago in there. Um, I started playing it again, and I was out here being competitive online, winning yep. a ton of ranked matches. So. Shout out to Tekken 7. What's a game that you wanted to play, but you have not played yet? Uh, Sonic Frontiers. Ah, Sonic Frontiers, that's a good pick. Um, yeah. That's a good one. My, my son wants that game. Mine would be Kirby the Forgotten Land. Mm-hmm. I, I like Kirby. I'm a Kirby fan, and I have not got around to playing that yeah. yet. And last, um, what is a game that you consider to be really underrated this year? Uh, <clears throat> so I'm going to, I'm going to preempt. I have it. I was, I wanted to talk about this, but I'm going to find, I'm going to like switch my answer so I can talk about it here with this answer. I'm going to preemptly say, and I was just talking to Edmund about this. I'm going to preemptly say Forspoken, even though the game hasn't even come out yet, mm. but bro, the, I'm, I'm just, man, it, it makes me, unfortunately, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so I was super hyped about this game, Black Woman Main Character. Like this is like the first AAA game that I think that I can think of that stars a black woman as a main character. Um and she looks dope. Like it's a it looks a lot like kind of like Final Fantasy 15 a little bit. Um the graphics are amazing. Um and I played the demo. The demo came out and I thought the demo was it like I was already obviously going to buy the game no matter what. But it kind of blew my expectations away. Like, yo, this game is dope, man. Like, the traversal system is crazy. Like, the she, like, uses magic on her feet to, like, run fast as hell and, like, uh, like parkour over everything. Um, there's, like, a magic system that's really kind of complicated. But once you get the once you get the combat flow, it's actually really rewarding. It's got a nice little counter dodge evade system. Right. And I love, you know, I love that for mechanics uh, in a game. But I was looking at the reviews to the demo, and it seemed obvious that people were just already decided that they were going to shit on this game, like just off top. Oh, yeah. And unfortunately, bro, like all of the people who wrote these reviews were white men. And and again, like it's this is why di- racism is a hard thing to talk about, because it usually doesn't it doesn't take the form of, oh, I don't want to see that black woman on the. Yeah, it's, it's like it, it's it's very passive aggressive. Right. Below where, the radar. Yeah. It's like uh, so the main characters doesn't really do it for me or like. Yeah. Uh, the I dialogue know, like, is sort of cringy. Like the, the game was, you know, 
just, just kind of boring, kind of boring, kind of you know, just didn't really wasn't like, good. There are things to critique <laughs> about the game, like the the magic system is super complicated and it's yeah, hard to people, it's hard to like get. jump through hoops if it's a. But they they, they saying crazy shit that, a, that don't yeah. make any sense at all. Like the graphic, bro. This shit is a, a <laughs> PS5 game that looks sweet no, as fuck. Like the sorry. graphics are objectively the, fantastic. The graphics, they're black. They're not. The, no, they're they're not. Uh, <laughs> they're not as good as I uh, yeah. thought they would be. So you know, and the story's kind of. Kind of black. Kind of the story is right. a little uh... exactly like all oh, the story is kind of bland and boring. Like no, it's just because it stars a person that you can't see yourself reflected in. That's all. How oh, you think man. we've been feeling for the Bruh. past 40, 50 years oh, or man. longer? Got to be represented in everything, all right? The time. Main characters only. So, so I'm just I'm unfortunately I'm prepared for this game to flop, bro. I'm prepared for it to get bad ratings. But the game that I play, bro, that shit's sweet, bro. Like it's a it is a worthy AAA title. Um, I, mean, I don't know. Some people like I never saw a review that like critiqued anything that was really like critiquable. Like, hey, the combat system is a little wonky. Like, I didn't see anybody say anything about that. As a matter of fact, that was the thing that people were praising. So I'm like, bro, like if the one thing that was weird is the thing that everybody says is dope and you just like throwing weird accusations at every other part of the game. It makes it real difficult for me to completely eliminate the possibility that you just don't like this game because it has a black woman in it. I'm sorry. Mm. But, uh, this is where I'm at. This is how I've been conditioned to look at stuff. Um, hey. Hey. So I'm supporting that game, bro. Support this game. And then and I'm this is my last thing I'm gonna say about it. The only what made me start to realize it is that the only positive reviews were coming from like black women gamers. And there was one woman who flat out said, like, all right, y'all, like and this is a verified sports or a verified video game writer. She literally had a tweet. was like, all right, y'all need to stop shitting on Forspoken. Like, what's going on here? <laughs> and it's like, bro, say less. I know exactly what you're talking about, yeah. sis. I know exactly what you mean. And it's a hard thing. It's a hard conversation to have. But we got to go support this game, man. Because if it doesn't do well, which it might not, people are going to be like, oh, black, can't sell, won't oh, sell, man. never going to do it again. Fuck off. Black women don't play video games, so you won't see yourself as a main character ever. Goodbye. Ever again, it was an experiment and flopped. All right. So support, support, folks, support, yeah. support for Spoken. It's a good game. Is it going to be game of the year? Probably not, but it's still a worthy game. It's worth your $70. Go buy it. It should be good. Boom. All right, man. One thing we haven't really got to talk about on here, we're going to get into some Pokemon talk now. Mm -hmm. um, Scarlet Violet is out. Yes. Not going to get too much into it. Um, it's I get so, I get annoyed sometimes when new Pokemon games come out because they always come out around Christmas. <laughs> and my son always wants it for Christmas. So it's like, I get it and then I can't play it until Christmas. Yep. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, it's, it's yep. so annoying, man. I don't know, kid. So I played that shit. I beat it. It's just sweet. It's it's sweet, but there's I have notes. It's so annoying. Um, but yeah, man. So that's out. But you know, the big thing here is kind of our guy, man, Ash Ketchum. Oh yeah, officially hey, bro. the it's, goat. It's done. Ain't it's no done. more. It ain't no more Ash Slander. It's a done deal. No more Ash Slander. Um, let's go, man. Ash is officially not not a regional champion. He didn't win the Hoenn region. He didn't win the Kalos region. This guy is the world Pokemon champion. Right. Number one. The title. He got the belt. He bro. got the he got they he got put the, the strap. strap. <laughs> they put the strap on him. <laughs> Look. Pokemon Journeys. Now I'm, you guys know how I feel about XYZ. I think XYZ is the best Pokemon anime. It's the most like battle centric one. The animation is amazing. And it's a little more serious, you know, than some of the other ones. Pokemon Journeys has been good. It, it, it's it's a little slow at times. You know, it's got Go in it. He's the Ash's kind of companion for these for this series. But what what's dope about it is the on the battle side of things is there's this thing called the world coronation series where where ash is trying has been for the last you know few seasons he's been trying to climb this this ladder in the world coronation series where they everybody's ranked everybody has a number all the trainers 
and he's trying to basically make it to the end to face Leon, who is the champion in the Sword and Shield uh, games. He's in the show. He's the he's the world champion. So we've seen Ash just battling people. We've seen a lot of cool characters come back in the in the anime. Like we've seen a uh, uh, like uh, what's her name? Karina. She um, uh, Iris, the Dragon Girl. Mm-hmm. Um, like Volkner, we've seen some of the some of the cool gym leaders like Cynthia. Uh, she's a former Pokemon champion. Uh, Lance, who's one of my mm-hmm. favorites. Uh, Gary shows the original up. Dragon OG. Yeah, the original Dragon OG. <clears throat> Gary shows up in this show. Like Volkner, B. I love V. B. She's the um, the fighting gym girl. Uh, I think I said Iris already. Um, but yeah, just you know some 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 of the uh, Karina. I think I said her too. But just some of the like classic characters pop up in the show. And then, you know, we see Ash, uh, it hasn't came out yet in, in the, in, in America, but of course I, I've watched it in Japanese, which is <laughs> Pokemon is hard to find in Japanese, but it's so much better. Um, but so we get to the elite eight, if you will, they call it the masters eight, right? Mm-hmm. But it's, it's, you know, it's Leon, it's Lance, it's, um, uh, Ryan, I think that's how you say his name. Alan, who's who's a really dope character from X Y Z. Uh, Iris is in there. Ash, like, and then we see Ash get to the quarterfinals, and then we see Ash eventually make it to the championship. Uh, the semifinals was fire. Ash won against Cynthia, who we all know is the Garchomp. Uh, she's the she's the uh, Pokemon champion from what? Is that Diamond and Pearl, I think. Yeah, is that Sinnoh? Yeah. And she is she a beast. A beast. And then the finals is Ash and Leon. When this comes out in America, y'all gotta watch it. This is the greatest anim like this animation is off yeah. the chart. Look like Dragon Ball. Yeah. Now Pikachu, bro. So there's I Dog. so so listen, bro. <laughs> this is in my opinion, this is by far and away Ash's most powerful team. Like, yeah. In terms of like oh, legitimate his, competitive, yeah, it, this team that he has in, crazy, in Pokemon bro. Journeys is nuts. Like he, he's, he's, got he's got Dragonite, bro, uh, Dracofish, Lucario, Gengar, and um, uh, Surfetched, and he's got his Pikachu. Which, if you know, those of us who are Pokemon sweaties, I mean, like this Pikachu can't really exist in the games. It would it would require him to be like. Level 100 with perfect IVs, Bro. all six of them. Yeah, and like this, this Pikachu is is with not... the right nature. I've like EV <laughs> trained for like special attack and speed. Like Ash's Pikachu is off the chain. This is he. I mean, can't he's I, a he's a legendary. It's a it's like a legendary like one in a million Pikachu. It is, bro. Because like he, he he literally. It's unbelievable. His Pikachu, without question, is the strongest Pikachu to ever have existed of all by time. leaps and bounds. One of one. Right. right. <laughs> um, but yeah, man. So shout out to Pokemon. Um I as as all the people in the Discord know, I had you guys um I had you guys send us um your top ten favorite Pokemon because we are going to finally do the the Pokemon Definitive List on this episode. We're going to share ours, too, um, on this episode as well. But before we get into it, um, I just want to tell y'all, I was very happy with the amount of lists that y'all sent in. I did not know that we had that many Pokemon fans in the the Discord, man. So shout out to y'all for sending these lists in. but before we get into, so we're gonna do our personal ones first, and then we'll do the definitive one. But before we get into it, I just wanna, um, I just wanna ask you this. Mm-hmm. So when it comes to Pokemon starters, which I think are they play a very important role in your when you're playing the Pokemon game, right? Sure. Your starters play a huge role in your journey, as everybody knows. There's that defining moment when you when you pick up a pokemon game and you got the three and you pick your starter was there ever a time where you made the wrong choice and it just kind of really messed up your your gameplay and you regretted that that choice uh because usually you know even if you because because it's different right when we were kids we didn't really know. We didn't necessarily know what their final evolution was off yeah. uh, off top. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, and now you can look we up. always do. 
Um, I will say, I, I will say that I didn't. Pokemon the Gen Gen One was the only game where there was really like there is a easy, a medium, and a hard, mm-hmm. depending on who you picked. It's the only one that it was that based on the linear the linear nature of the of the game. I and would if you pick, I would say I would say Gen Three too. Okay, I, I don't remember that one as Hohen, well. That's uh that's my favorite. That's Septile, Blaziken, and Swamper. Mm. If you pick Septile, the Hoenn is like all water. So if you pick uh, Septile, yeah, you might be in trouble. No, oh no, you'd yeah, be, yeah, if you yeah, pick Septile yeah, Gen three, you just walk, yeah, yeah. moonwalk through the whole game. Well, so that's it's, in Gen one is similar. If you pick Charizard to start, like the first, yeah. the first three or the first two gym leaders for sure, you're in trouble. I think the first because it's Brock first. Mm-hmm. Who is it? Who's second? Is it Misty? That, that uh, Brock had that. Was he the who had that bell sprout? Uh, in Gen one because. I don't remember. Because I always pick Squirtle, so I used to get vine <laughs> whipped to death. Yeah. I can't remember who the second, but it's like the first three, because then there's Misty yeah. as well. So if you picked Charizard, if you picked Charmander to start, like you, it's it's like you way harder. Trouble. Way <laughs> harder. Um, but I always picked him because he's my favorite. So that would be the only one. All the rest of them, you can. And then you also learned as you got older, like, all right, like I could just train another Pokemon. Like mm-hmm. you don't have to use your starter no, you for you, every single one. Bro, and that's 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 something that I think it's more so like a um I think it's more so a it's like a pride thing. Like you gotta you wanna use the starter. That's like the cool thing to do. Everybody yeah. uses a starter, you wanna use your starter. Um Yeah, I, th- that stopped being a thing for me once I got to <laughs> You know, like once I realized, like, oh, like there's a comp- there's like a meta to this game, and I was like, okay, yeah. Let me- and then I started training my Pokemon because you know when we first played when we were eight, nine years old, mm-hmm. you'd have your starter, to- your totally cool starter at level seventy nine, bro, and then you'd have like Articuno or Zapdos at level 50, 51 because <laughs> you only played them a little bit, and then everybody else be and like level thirty five, like twenty eight, because you ain't you never train none yep. of the rest of them, dog, and you you going into them gyms, and that's yeah. why. That's why that shit was so hard. Like, if you go back to play Gen One now with our with the oh, knowledge that we bro. have now, I will walk through. I that do game. it all the time. I always play, and, and and I just I just sit around, stomp out of some Zubats, right? <laughs> but to, the over, thing that, over, the thing that over, made over, it harder over, though over is that you had the EV train. I don't even, did they even have EV training no, in bro. Gen One? That was I mean they so you had to like. It was yeah, a hidden to, mechanic at the time. It was a time. weird mechanic. You had to like uh, battle a certain, a certain type of yeah. a certain Pokemon. Yeah, they gave off a certain amount of EVs. Mm-hmm. Yo, actually, so the one this is not, not really a spoiler, but like one of the things about Gen or the one that just that just came out, uh, Violet and and uh, and what is it, Scarlet? Money is a little bit harder to come by because you know in Pokemon Sword and Shield you have like infinity billion dollars just from doing raids. Bruh, it, yes, <laughs> and you can they well they they kind of nerfed it, but you used to be able to sell those uh you used to be able to sell those those Pokeballs back. You can oh get, yeah 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 you could go get the Pokeballs from uh oh hell yeah from the fields and you could sell them sell back them for, for, cat, like, for yeah, cash for bread yeah. <laughs> so money is a little bit harder to come by, and I had to for the first time ever in the since I've been a, like a meta type player, I had to EV train my Pokemon from scratch, like the hard way. Ooh. For the first time, I had went and bought like a like the power belt or the power, oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? The, uh, the ankle weights and the, all of that. X, X attack and right. stuff like that. To, to the, <laughs> and then I went to the area where I could only fight like rookie D's and goddamn Duh. whatever the, gave the whatever the amount of H, um, EVs that I needed. Hilarious. I had to train them niggas the hard way, dog. It was a grind, but because I couldn't afford the, I couldn't afford the steroids <laughs> like I used to be able to. Yeah, those things cost so much. They cost money. like ten racks. Yeah. So I mean, that's why the game is kind of meant for you to. Those games are really meant for you to get into that stuff after your first playthrough. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I was trying to do that shit. No, I feel you. I've done it. I've done it before too. Like I wanted to I was, walk through everybody like, like crits. <laughs> super effective on every single like when I first um when I used to play Emerald Man like and I told you that's why I love that game so much because that's the game that really schooled me on on how to really be good at, at Pokemon yeah. and I, I once I learned you know I would go to that little tent and I would buy I would spend a lot of money even if I couldn't buy a bunch of them you know I'd max out the ones that I'd I'd spend some money on the ones that I could mm-hmm. and my starter would always be a 
a juggernaut. You yep. know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, man. So, all right, man. Let's go. Let's get let's 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 get into it. So we'll do we'll do um, let's do you want to do the let's do the definitive list first. Yeah, that's cool. So we'll do the definitive list, man. Shout out to y'all for for sending your list in. Um, as you you guys know how much we love Pokemon, man. Uh, oh, before we get into this, I think that if I had to pick, I think a starter, the one starter that I picked that I just, bro, Sobble and um, the uh, last uh, G- Gen Eight, man. Yeah, um, yeah, I know you didn't like him very much. Bruh, um, Intellion, I was. I, I I love water starters, and I just did not. I was not feeling his. Bro, that that game though had a very obvious, clear winner for the best starter. Oh, facts. With, Cinderace. Uh, Cinderace was um, just a, a, a like a legitimate like le- like top tier, but I, competitive. And, and I tried to really, um, I tried to really not look at their final evolutions, you know, because it's just funner that way. And I looked, I looked immediately. Bruh, I one hundred percent, man, was just like. Oh, I made such the wrong choice here. And I had pretty much abandoned my starter like instantly. <laughs> I was not even using it. Um, but all right, man, let's go. You got predictions? Uh, I feel unconfident. I got <laughs> it's just it's like a, it's like a thousand Pokemon, bro. Like leg- legitimately like, like 900 and some Pokemon. Um, I I feel so. I got uh, Charizard, Pikachu, Mewtwo, uh, Lucario, and Blastoise. I feel confident that. Pikachu, like Charizard, and Mewtwo will be there. So okay. I'm going for three out of five. Going for three out of five. All right, man. The top ten definitive Pokemon list is here. Let's get into it. Coming in at number ten. And the reason I'm going to include this one like this is because this is how a lot of – this is how almost everybody did it like this. Um, so – Number 10 is Eevee. Interesting. Everybody just kind of said Eevee and then oh, included the whatever the, whichever one in parentheses. So oh, I'm just wait. I didn't do that. I picked one. Yeah, you did. You That's picked, you trash. Picked a specific one. <laughs> so what but what I did though was I took because almost everybody it's weird that everybody did it that way. Everybody pretty much just did um they did Eevee and then in parentheses they put the one mm-hmm. that they, the evolution that they like. Um, so, did, did you keep track of which evolution was the highest? I did. Okay. That's actually a really good question. So, Umbreon was the most. Really, yes. Umbreon. Umbreon was the most. Huh. Um, Vaporeon was I the second most. I can see that. And then Sylveon was the third most. Yeah, y'all tripping, bro. Sylveon is the goat. Dog. <laughs> I don't care what nobody say, bro. Um, Sylveon, greatest fairy fairy type Pokemon <laughs> of all time. Beast. Um. So, Eevee comes in at number ten, and I just forgot. Um. Uh, before I finish this list, I gotta I gotta give the I gotta give some of these interesting stats here. The Pokemon that got the most votes that was on the most list that didn't make the list, Hitmonlee. Ah. Hitmonlee got some love, man. I can tell we got a lot of OG yeah. OG Pokemon fans here. Um I think the biggest snub here. Ooh, this Pokemon didn't even get that a lot of votes. Infernape. Yeah, y'all. I'm tripping, surprised bro. that Infernape did not get many votes on here. Infernape didn't make my list, but he's a he's a beast. He's a beast. Um, and then also, I think this is a good hint to give you. There's only one legendary on here. Oh yeah. I didn't outlaw any legendaries. I didn't say couldn't have legendaries, and there's only one. I mean, there's there's one that stands out though. So there's I get only it. one. I get it. on the list. Um, but all right, man. Let's get back into it. Coming in number nine. The star of the entire series, Let's the star go. of the anime. I mean, the god himself, Pikachu, man. Um, Love it. I mean, you can't, you know, can't be mad at that. Hot Pikachu P- is the. Yeah, he's the goat. He's the goat. I mean, I, I miss, remember, I miss fat Pikachu from Pokemon yeah, Yellow. From, yeah. <laughs> I remember Chubby yes, Pikachu. He was, and from the Pokemon card, do you remember how fat he was? I used, to, I think I got that one upstairs somewhere. Um, so I got a hot take. I got a Pikachu hot take, bro. Uh-oh. Uh, I think I'm really not a fan of Pichu. Um, and you know, Pokemon has this rule and maybe they'll break it in a future generation, but they have this rule where they will only give a Pokemon three permanent evolutions. I think they should get rid of Pikachu and go back to the original idea of having a third 
Uh, uh, it was supposed to be the the allegedly it was supposed to be Pikachu, um, Raichu, and then Gorochu, and he was like a fire electric type. That would have been fire, bro. Have you, bro? Have you seen the picture? I mean, it's like a artist rendition of what he supposedly what was like. supposed to look yeah, like. I want to see that, bro. That he looks dope. sweet as fuck, dog. <laughs> Gorochu. Look at this nigga, bro. That sounds like an awesome name too, bro. Oh Man. shit! Hold up, bro. Fire and electric. Look at this guy, bro. That's kind of a broken. Uh, that's kind of a broken oh, type. Yeah, bro. He looks so sweet, dog. So sweet. Oh, man, they should have did that. They should have went ahead and did that. Yeah. So, anyways, yeah, that's my Pikachu hot take. They should have went ahead and did that. That looks that looks crazy. Um, yep. But yeah, man, Pikachu. Uh, I told you, I, I've always, <laughs> I've always loved Pikachu in the show. He's not good in the game unless you uh, jump through some hoops, get uh, Electro Ball, mm-hmm. doubles his uh, doubles his uh, attack and special attack. Um, he's got good speed. He doesn't have like elite speed. like elite speed. Raichu but is you can, crazy fast. But you can use him. Yeah, Raichu is is really fast. But um, but you can use him. And kind of some little sneaky ways, like so. One way that I like to use them, if you can get this ability called Lightning Rod, where um, so basically electric moves. If somebody uses an electric move on him, it doesn't hurt him, but it boosts his special attack. I think that I believe that's what it does. Mm. Um, so what I do is when I battle, when I used to battle online, everybody and their mom uses Abdos. Everybody, everybody, everybody yep. online uses Abdos. So what I'll do is I start with Blastoise, and then if they start with Zapdos, I switch out Blastoise. They'll Dynamax and do uh, Thunderbolt, and then I'll switch in Pikachu. It'll hit Pikachu, and Lightning Rod will you know absorb what I'm it. Yeah. yeah. So I do that sometimes. Uh, but again, like his speed's not crazy. But then if you use a diff, if you use another ability, like if you use um, uh, Static, where he if a Pokemon makes contact with him, it par- he mm-hmm. paralyzes him. And then you could just give him a priority move like quick attack or extreme speed. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then you could just kind of get a cheap paralyze. You know yeah, what I'm saying? And half their speed yeah, at the same time. So, so um, you know, there's some strategies. He he can he's viable if you if you if you just know how to use him. Yeah. Uh, so shout out to Pikachu, man. Coming in at number eight again. I love this pick. I can tell we got some OG Pokemon fans, some Gen One fans here. Machamp. Really, Machamp. Hey, let's go, the, Machamp. The the heavyweight champion the of the heavyweight world. champion, the OG uh, fighting type. I remember back in the day, nobody knew what I never knew what Machamp actually looked like until I got the card because you couldn't get him yeah, unless you he traded trade. with and somebody, bro. I don't Gosh. know what, what what hood y'all grew up in, but nobody had nobody, a trading cable, bro. And you, I just I never saw what Alakazam or Gengar looked like ever. I just I, saw him on the on the show. That was uh, it. So annoying. I can't stand trade evolutions. I think that's one of. The, I'm sorry. I think that's yeah. one of the worst things that they ever did. It's just a money. It's just it money was grubbing. Such a pain, bro. Yeah. Like let's uh, let's sell. Let's. Uh, we already sold two games for the price of one. <laughs> so full price. I mean, what a what a. They just double their profit bro, every year. Every it's crazy. Um, but I was lucky when I was growing up. I had my brother. Um, but even still, you had to still. Find out that that's how you, yeah, you know, again, this was no internet this like kind of before internet, yeah. so you had to still had to call, dial into the internet, you had to still figure out how to how to do these things, and a lot of stuff was rumors. <laughs> so man, like the, trying saying. to you remember the all the rumors because it, uh, man, I wish the internet was around back then bro. to like really clear up the bullshit. Dog, there's so many. It was crazy so rumors. many rumors on how to get. Bro, Mewtwo, I remember how to I, get I ended up getting Mewtwo. You had to surf that little mm-hmm. surf up and down that little uh, yeah, that the, little, on Cinnabar yeah. Island. Yeah, but I remember uh, there was before I really could do it there were some crazy rumors man there was one bro there was one (laughs) where you had to beat the elite four a hundred times in a row i went and bought look look, i went and bought like a thousand full restores and like all right here we go strap in let's get it popping number 25 all right i can't imagine getting to the end and that shit didn't work bro the worst worst (laughs) experience worst experience ever i had i still remember this too i was playing i think i was playing emerald and i was in like ninth grade or something and i was playing it on the bus to a game 
and I had did so much stuff and I didn't save it and it Ew. died when I got to and I was like I was um leveling everybody up. I was about to I was leveling all my Pokemon up, about to go fight uh the Elite Four and my 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 joint died and Ew. didn't save it. That was and when that happened, you don't even want to play the you don't play the game for a yeah, couple weeks because yeah, you're while. like, like man, nah, so discouraged. Nope. <laughs> um but Machamp coming in number eight. Coming in at number seven. Hey man, I'm gonna kind of spoil my own list. This is my favorite Pokemon, my my fat turtle boy uh-huh. from day one. Blastoise coming in number seven. Uh, those Kanto starters, man. Yep, Kanto. I mean, they Pokemon started off so so dope with with the with the Kanto starters. Three really dope. Just really, really big stables in Pokemon in general. Uh, shout out to Squirtle. The, the whole line is is dope. Squirtle, War Turtle, Blastoise. Um, Blastoise was my first starter that I picked. Um, and then uh, Pokemon X, X and Y. Uh, you get to get one of the Kanto starters in that game on top of your own starter, mm-hmm. and, and you know that was that was really dope. And I got to play with them again in that game. And then. You know, I battle competitively all the time, and he's he's the point guard on my team. Uh, when they gave him Shell Smash, he he oh, really yeah. turned into a a, a, a big time sweeper. So shout out to Blastoise. Coming in at number six, Gyarados, man, let's go! Oh, I can't believe I forgot to put. I should have known he was going to be there. The the dragon that's not a dragon, but yeah. definitely is a dragon. He's used yep. by a dragon trainer. Yep. He can um, use all the dragon all moves. All the dragon moves. <laughs> like, he's God. a dragon egg type. Bro, they literally just they did that because at the time yep. a water dragon would have been cheating. You know who you know what they really did it? So here's the person who got it worse than Gyarados was Charizard. Mm. Because Bro. literally at the in Gen 1, if they would have gave him dragon typing, and he would have had zero weaknesses. Mm-hmm. Because there wasn't Because there was no fairy. Yep. There was no fairy and there was no ice. There were there were ice moves. There were ice moves, but there were there no, was no ice, ice type. Ice I don't types. Think. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, not, no, that's not true. I think Lapras was an ice type. And I I don't think so. You man. don't think so? I think Lapras was water. Look it up. But um, oh, I love Lapras. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, man. Shout out to shout out to Gyarados, the the original. Just. Oh man, Dugong. I love. Okay, Dugong. Oh, okay. So there were yeah. ice types back then. Um, but shout out to Gyarados, man. One of the best designs ever in Pokemon history. Mm-hmm. It's a big water dragon. Um, so I, I still hate the fact that they gave it a flying type. It makes no sense to me. Gyarados does not fly. Never flies, ever. The only time I've ever seen a Gyarados fly is in Arceus. That's the only time. Yep. Um, and it looks weird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Because yep. it, it's a, you know, technically it's a big, it's a fish, right? But it's it looks like a dragon. Yeah. It's, um, but yeah. should have gave it water and dragon, not water and flying. Now we getting into this. Oh, Articuno is ice type as well, obviously. Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah, yeah. so there were ice types. Not, there were, there was like five of them, but there, there weren't that many. So, yeah, Lapras probably was too then. Yeah. Um, but all right, man, let's get into this top five. Mm, not really surprised by it. Uh, mm, yeah. This this top five doesn't surprise me. Coming in at number five, maybe the most rec- one of the most recognizable Pokemon on planet Earth for sure. Mm-hmm. Gengar. Gengar. Coming in at number five, man. I, I, I was this close to putting him on the list. I like. Um, he's, yeah. He's a lot of people on. love Gengar. Um, shout out, shout out to him. Uh, I was always a. Haunter guy, I liked Haunter a lot, and then mm. I mean, obviously, because of the trade evolution thing, I would always yeah. just kind of be stuck with with Haunter. Level anyway. seventy eight Haunter, <laughs> strong as hell, can't evolve. <laughs> I would always be stuck with a level eighty five Haunter anyway. Um, but shout out to Gengar, just iconic man. A lot of people love him. Really good and and competitive. Got um, he can be annoying to bet to battle against for mm. sure. Um, and he's you know his popularity has. Has kind of shot up. He's kind of a kind of had the face turn now that he's on Ash's team yeah. in, in uh, Pokemon Journeys. Uh, and he had that real sad story too, where yeah. <laughs> on, the, on the anime where yeah, yeah. where his uh, trainer left him, and um, he, he was stuck in that mansion for like years, and he was just smiling. Yeah, sad. Uh, but shout out to Gengar, man. Coming in at number four, the legend himself, the 
Only legendary on this list. Yes, sir. Pokemon, the first movie. Come on, man. Mewtwo. Yes, sir. Let's go, man. Um, I mean, Ash, Ash tried to punch me. Yeah, he tried to scrap me. <laughs> uh, shout out to Mewtwo. I mean, we grew up battling on the, on the, on Game Boy. This this was definitely the first legendary that I was like actually really cared about. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this was probably a lot of our first level 99 too back then. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of us uh, did the, the thing where we got the level 99 Mewtwo. So shout out to Mewtwo. Yep, just dope all the way around. Coming in at number three, Lucario. Hi. Okay. Hi for Lucario. That's my son's favorite Pokemon. I did get a list from my kids. Bro, I'm about to go um, five for five, dog. <laughs> I did get a list from my kids. Big Lucario love here. I like Lucario. He's not he doesn't he's not on my personal list, but I do like him. He's dope. Got yeah. a dope design. One of the best designs. Fighting ever. steel, super sweet uh type. Uh or sphere, obviously mm-hmm. really dope move. Um, been been on a been a, kind of a staple on the competitive scene for a long yeah, time. Yeah, he has been. Yeah, he's got he's got good stats too, man. Um, so shout out to Lucario, man. Dope. Uh, he's had a he has he's got some dope appearances in the anime as well. So shout out I to had him. to actually take him off of my team for Scarlet or for Violet just because, dog. I just use him so him bro, and Gyarados. I, I, I go through that too, like yeah. bro. I have Gyarados and Dragonite on every, every team, bro. Team that I've like ever used in Pokemon yep. history. Um, Gyarados is so good he though, is, man. man. He's, so, He's good. so dope. He's so sweet, especially if you get a dragon dance off. Yes, such a beast. Rap. Um, coming in at number two, this is my other guy right here, man. Greninja. Greninja. Shout yeah. out to Greninja, the original. What is it? Protein. Everybody, uh, Libero is what uh, Cinderace has. Oh yeah, yeah. Greninja yeah. was the OG man with mm-hmm. that ability where where your where your move um, where the type move you do with the Pokemon changes, changes the type. Get stabbed. Uh, so man, I'm telling you, man. A lot of people hate on X Y, but he made it worth it. And just himself, he's nice. one of my all time favorites. Sweet design. He was a beast in the anime too with the Ash Greninja uh, transformation. Just a fire pokemon all together man yep. um i love greninja so much yeah um, just uh he's i, I get annoyed because he's been gone from the games for so long yeah and then like everybody likes pokemon home i actually don't like it because i put my greninja in pokemon home from pokemon xy and i haven't been able to play with him in years and he's stuck there because you can't put it back in the game you know what i'm saying really yeah it's wow. really annoying so um, I'm kind of mad that he's kind of been like disappeared from the Pokemon universe or whatever reason. I hope he comes back at back. some point. Uh, but number one, speaking of fire Pokemon, dog, number one on the list. I know this is Hero's boy. Come on, dog. <laughs> Charizard, number Let's one. Let's go, dog. Let's go, Charizard, number one. Man, one of the one of the greatest designs ever. The dragon. He's literally a fire dragon, bro. Just one of the one of the one of the best stories in the anime as well. Oh um, man. I mean, just all around greatness, man. I have to say, I like this list. I'm very surprised Dragonite didn't get on here. Y'all tripping. Yeah, no, he he deserved to Y'all spot. tripping. Dragonite deserves a spot. That's my boy right there. Bro, I got Dragonite on, on Violet on my competitive team. He he's like better than ever now. Bro, Dragonite has always... I don't think I've ever played through a game without Dragonite, ever. I think I've had him literally on a team. As long as he was in the game, I had him. Boy, oh, God. Remember having to go to the Safari? Yeah, Because that was the only place you could get it? To find him, yeah. To oh, find the uh, the dragon. Fish and it was and so rare, bro. There. Yes, it was so rare. And you <laughs> were timed, too. Bro, and you get you spent timed so in much there. money in that motherfucker. No, and it was God. only... It wasn't in every pool, too. <laughs> no. Right? You had to go to one. I think it was yeah. only one of them. Man, he was hard so to catch. Annoying. But worth it. That's my guy. Um, yeah. But that's the definitive Pokemon list, man. Uh, shout out to y'all for seeing your list. And number 10, Eevee. And those evolutions will just include all of them. Number 9, Pikachu. Number 8, my champ. Number 7, my guy, Blastoise. Number 6, Gyarados. Number 5, Gengar. Number 4, Mewtwo. Number 3, Lucario. 2, 
Greninja and number one, Charizard. Man, I am surprised that y'all did not get Dragonite on this list. That disappoints also me. Also surprised no Snorlax either. No Big Lax, man. No Big Lax. Snorlax. He might have been the one Pokemon that was just as broken as Dragonite with Bruh, Amnesia. Amnesia. Because they didn't separate uh, special attack they from sure special defense. sure did not back So then. you could just use so that shit. you could shit. just use Amnesia and just wipe everybody Rolling clean, over. Bro. Literally rolling over everybody. <laughs> um. But yeah, man, shout out to Pokemon. Shout out to y'all for seeing you listening. Uh we we kinda we gotta we kinda short on time. So next time we'll get into our own list. Um but shout out to y'all for listening and we're gonna get into our own list next time, talk about some holiday stuff. Uh but thank y'all for listening. Swordcast out. Boom. Boom.